just can't fail. Patients say pharmacists are refusing to give them the drugs they need to control their pain, even though they have legitimate prescriptions. NBC2 investigator Andy Barati has taken dozens of calls from patients in the same boat. He's live in the newsroom to explain how pharmacists are getting away with saying no. Well, Lynn Lindsay, the state says this is a consequence of a new law aimed at reducing prescription drug abuse, but doctors say their patients are paying the price. That was back before we moved here from Massachusetts. There's nothing. This is our wedding day. Billy D'Amato wouldn't do. That's her there. For his wife, Lori. Which is an antibiotic, sodium chloride. It's heparin. Including making her death. And that's done daily. Less painful. You know, it could be tomorrow, it could be five years from now. It's a long, slow, painful death. Laura is battling systemic scleroderma, an autoimmune disease with no cure. She has a pick in, the, in her arm that runs into her heart. The only thing Billy can do... A bottle of IV drug every morning. ...is to help her ease the pain. I said, so you're refusing to dispense medication to me to a terminally ill person. And she said, get out of my store, I'm going to call the police. In just one month, 11 pharmacists wow. refused to fill his wife's for prescription for oxycodone. It seems to be spiraling out of control, and I think a lot of times the doctor has been taken out of the equation. Dr. Luis Fernandez is Lori's doctor. Not a day goes by, his office doesn't get a similar complaint from other patients. It's frustrating, but you, you hold yourself back from saying what you really want to say to the pharmacist because you want the patient to be able to get their medication. So why is this happening? Doctors say pharmacists are afraid of getting labeled a pill mill under a new state law. Fort Myers pharmacist Rich Lawrence turns down patients needing pain medication every day. As pharmacists, we're scared because we don't want to lose our licenses. We don't want to go to jail. We don't want to lose our DEA licenses. This law isn't too onerous. Former it's State Senator Dave Ehrenberg helped pass the law. Its intention is to track patients on narcotics to make sure they're not doctor shopping. Seven Floridians die each day from prescription drug overdoses. We want to make sure that that is fixed. Uh, and we believe that the new laws we pass uh, takes the pendulum uh, from one extreme to the middle. And if that pendulum is swung too far to the other side, we want to know about it. I believe it's a good law. But the model doesn't think pharmacists should be deciding who gets medicine. Keeping her alive. And who doesn't. That's not a pharmacist's job to tell me to get out of her store when I'm trying to fill medication for my terminally ill wife. Just ain't fair. Billy tells me he's still having problems getting the pain medication for Lori. Pharmacists say there are drug supply issues impacting prescriptions as well. Lindsay. So, Andy, what can patients do if pharmacies decline filling these prescriptions? Where, where do you go? Well, both pharmacists and doctors say there needs to be more communication. Have your doctor call the pharmacist to explain why you need the medication. And if that doesn't work, you can always report the pharmacist to the State Pharmacy Board. We have that information on our website, nbc-2.com. Lindsay. And